Hello and welcome. My name is Maria. I am a Feldenkrais and a yoga teacher. And I've created this series of exercises for seniors and also for people with um, mobility issues. Um, some of these exercises also suit people that are bound to a wheelchair. So um, sometimes we're going to do exercises sitting on a chair, sometimes we do exercises standing, standing and we also use the wall to do exercises. Okay, um, so my um, suggestion to you is to do what you can. If there are parts of the exercises, of some of these exercises that you can't do, um, also sometimes we're going to do exercises on the floor where we come onto our knees uh, or sit on the floor. Now if those are not good for you, then you skip um, those exercises and you do the ones that you can. Okay. Today we're going to do the exercises sitting on a chair. So come and sit on a chair and sit towards the front of your chair so we're not leaning back. And I want you to start by feeling your sitting bones. If you don't know where your sitting bones are, then I invite you to bring one hand underneath your buttocks and roll around. And you'll feel one bone on your hand, that's one sit bone. And then there's the other one on the other side. So we have two sitting bones. And they are in our pelvis and they are designed for us to sit on them. So feel your, take a moment to feel your sitting bones. If you have never felt your sitting bones, then this is probably not going to feel very familiar or comfortable but um, see give it a go and see if you can feel your sitting bones you can move around it's important that you don't have a, a, a chair that <coughs> excuse me a chair that is too cushioning too much of a cushioning because then you won't feel anything my chair is hard and I have a blanket on top of it okay um, so you can only feel the sitting bones if the surface is a little bit hard, okay? Oh, so feel your sitting bones and sit upright, um, the torso upright as opposed to collapsing. Actually, we're going to collapse to feel the differences, not only in the body but in the mind too. So collapse the body, come towards your tailbone, tailbone is right at the end of your spine, right at the back. So come, move the pelvis towards your tailbone and round, slouch. And then move the pelvis forwards and lengthen the spine towards the sky. And slouch. You want the movement in the pelvis. Back, forwards. And I want you to feel the difference mentally and physically between, slouch, between being here, slouching, not as how it feels, and then as you bring yourself upright, opening, not as how does it feel. It's a big difference in the brain, in the mind, of course, it's a big difference, difference in the body. Uh, the way we hold ourselves. Here feels very blue, sad, miserable, depressing. Here feels opening, feels joy, feels peace. And we have the choice between being here and being here. Okay, so let's play with the movements in the hip joints. We're going to lubricate those hip joints. We're going to bring um, movements in those hip joints, um, 
mobility, flexibility. So I want you to pay attention to your hip joints, to your pelvis, and I want you to do this movement with the pelvis and not uh, the torso. Okay, so this is me moving the torso and this is me moving the pelvis. So the torso moves as a consequence of the pelvis, okay? So bring your attention to your pelvis and move the pelvis back towards your tailbone and round, slouch. And then move the pelvis forwards and lengthen. You take, take the chin a little bit um, up. And let's do that a few times. Round, and let's do this with the breath. As we round, we're going to exhale, squeeze the belly ben, be, button in ever so slightly. As we come forward, stick out the belly. And inhale, open. Open the chest, lengthen the spine. Stick your bum out a little bit, arch the back a little bit to lengthen the spine. A little bit, okay? Exhale through the pelvis, we're moving through the pelvis, inhale, you can close your eyes and feel yourself here, feel the pelvis, feel the hip joints, the back, the spine, the ribs, the neck, Stick your bum up, um, belly out as we inhale and come forward with the pelvis, exhale. So if, if you feel that this mobility is not quite there in your pelvis, in your hip joints, may feel stiff, sticky then just carry on just keep your attention in your hip joints you visualize your hip joints there's ball and socket the ball is at the end of your thigh bone and the socket is in your pelvis just visualize that movement in your pelvis in your hip joint and just keep practicing practicing this movement and the mobility will come breathe in and out a few more times here. Keep your jaw nice and relaxed, the teeth are not touching. And keep a gentle smile in your lips because this is very enjoyable, very satisfying movements for the pelvis and the spine. All right, and then let go, come back onto your sitting bones and stay here for a moment. So now we're going to lift each sitting bone, but you want to keep your torso as quiet as possible. What we don't want to do here is this, swing the torso, okay? We want to lift through the pelvis. It's not an easy exercise, it's not an easy movement, it's not something we are used to do. Do what you can. Lift one sit bone, bring it down, lift the other sit bone, bring it down, do what you can. Keep the torso and the head nicely in the center without moving too much. Breathe in and out, and you'll feel a difference between one side and the other. Just notice those differences. One side is going to be easier to move than the other. Your feet is pressing down at one at a time as well as you lift one side, and then you lift the other. Breathe in and out. A few more times here, keep the torso nice and still, the movement is in the pelvis, do what you can, 
The more you do, the more, the more you practice this movement, the more natural it will come. It is a very good exercise to do every day. So satisfying and you don't need any special props. You just need to sit on a chair and move the hip joints and the spine. Okay, and let go, come back onto both of your sitting bones. Feel your sitting bones on a chair. Now we're gonna go around, okay? So we have done, um, we have moved the pelvis back and forwards and the side and lift one side and lift the other side, okay? Now we're gonna go around in a circle. So we're going to go, when we come forwards, I don't think I mentioned this before, when we come, when we come forwards, we come towards the pubic bone, okay? When we go back, we go towards the tailbone, okay? And at the sides, we go onto the seat bone. Now, we're gonna go onto one seat. This time, as we go around, we are not going to lift the seat bones, okay? We're just going to shift the weight to one seat bone. Again, you want the movement in the pelvis. Don't try not to move the torso. Allow the move to torso as a consequence of moving the pelvis, of course, okay? So we're gonna go around to one seat bone, to the tailbone, to the other seat bone, and to the pubic bone. And we're gonna go around and around without lifting the pelvis. And this time I want you to bring as much movement as you can to your spine, to your torso, involve the torso, but keep your attention in the pelvis because you want the movement to be in the torso, but this time just involve a little bit more of the torso, of the spine and feel your spine. Breathe in and out. Don't think too much about the movement. There is no right way of doing it. Just move as you can, as your body allows you to move. Inhale, exhale. Feel one seat bone and then the tailbone and then the other tailbone. The other seat bone, we only have one tailbone. And then a pubic bone and around and around. Feel your ribs, feel your spine. This is such a delicious movement to do any day of the week, any time of the day. It brings so much um, lubrication to the joints, to the um, hip joints, to the, the joints of the vertebrae in your spine. Close your eyes and just feel yourself. Feeling is healing. Remember when you can when you come forward, you lengthen, open. When you come back to uh, to the back to the tailbone, you round. So you're flexing and extending. Okay, and then you're gonna go the other way around. Enjoy the movement. I need to find a different chair because this one makes funny noises. Keep your attention your pelvis, the movement in the pelvis. Keep that gentle smile in your lips so that you, you know you're not tensioning the jaw or the facial muscles. Ah, breathe in and out. And try to breathe in and out only through the nose. Unless that is not possible for you, in which case then you just do whatever you need to do. All right, it's a very meditative kind of 
movement is very satisfying and you could do it forever okay and let go come back onto your sitting bones and just now move the torso shift the weight to one sit bone and to the other sit bone to the back to the front and then come and sit on your sitting bones neutral position and just feel your sitting feel your sitting bones notice it feels better or easier to sit on your sitting bones with your torso upright notice if anything changed in your breathing keep that gentle smile in your lips feel your feet in contact with the floor well done this is it for this week i hope this was good for you and do let me know below and please do share these videos these exercises with your um, friends and please do this exercise um, every day whenever you have five time and um, five minutes just feel your spine feel your your um your pelvis and when it comes to exercises we need to do it every day it's like it's, it is like food we eat every day we don't eat once a week and when it comes to exercise is the same thing the body needs some kind of movement uh, some kind of exercises every day it doesn't need to be an hour it doesn't need to be half an hour it can be five minutes ten minutes just doing these movements with the spine and doing other things that I'll bring to you okay but try to do a little bit every day it doesn't need to be too long all right um, keep moving and thank you for watching share this video with your friends and I'll be back with more exercises for you. Bye bye now. The mobility will come back slowly. Breathe in and out. A few more times here. Keep your jaw nice and relaxed. The teeth are not touching. And keep a gentle smile in your lips because this is very enjoyable. Very satisfying movements for the pelvis and the spine. all right and then let go come back onto your sitting bones and just stay here for a moment so now we're going to lift each sitting bone but you want to keep your torso as quiet as possible what we don't want to do here is this swing the torso okay we want to lift through the pelvis it's not an easy exercise it's not an easy movement it's not something we are used to do do what you can lift one sit bone bring it down lift the other sit bone bring it down do what you can keep the torso and the head nicely in the center without moving too much breathe in and out and you'll feel a difference between one side and the other just notice those differences one side is going to be easier to move than the other your feet is pressing down at one at a time as well as you lift one side and then you lift the other breathe in and out
a few more times here keep the torso nice and still the movement is in the pelvis do what you can The more you do, the more, the more you practice this movement, the more natural it will come. It is a very good exercise to do every day. So satisfying and you don't need any special props. You just need to sit on a chair and move the hip joints and the spine. Okay, and let go, come back onto both of your sitting bones. Feel your sitting bones on a chair now we're going to go around okay so we have done um, we have moved the pelvis back and forwards and the side and lift one side and lift the other side okay now we're going to go around in a circle so we're going to go when we come forward, I don't think I mentioned this before when we can when we come forward, we come towards the pubic bone okay when we go back, we go towards the tailbone, okay? And at the sides, we go onto the seat bone. Now, we're going to go onto one seat. This time, as we go around, we are not going to lift the seat bones, okay? We're just going to shift the weight to one seat bone. Again, you want the movement in the pelvis. Don't try not to move the torso. Allow the move to torso as a consequence of moving the pelvis, of course. Okay, so we're going to go around to one seat bone, to the tailbone, to the other seat bone, and to the pubic bone. And we're going to go around and around without lifting the pelvis. And this time I want you to bring as much movement as you can to your spine, to your torso, involve the torso, but keep your attention in the pelvis because you want the movement to be in the torso, but this time just involve a little bit more of the torso, of the spine and feel your spine. Breathe in and out don't think too much about the movement there is no right way of doing it just move as you can as your body allows you to move inhale exhale feel one seat bone and then the tailbone and then the other tailbone the other seat bone we only have one tailbone and then a pubic bone and around and around Feel your ribs, feel your spine. This is such a delicious movement to do any day of the week, any time of the day. It brings so much um, lubrication to the joints, to the um, hip joints, to the, the joints of the vertebrae in your spine. Close your eyes and just feel yourself. Feeling is healing. Remember when you can when you come forward, you lengthen, open. When you come back to uh, to the back to the tailbone, you round. So you're flexing and extending. Okay, and then you're gonna go the other way around. Enjoy the movement. I need to find a different chair because this one makes funny noises. Keep your attention your pelvis, the movement in the pelvis. Keep that gentle smile in your lips so that you, you know you're not tensioning the jaw or the facial muscles. <sighs> Breathe in and out. 
and try to breathe in and out only through the nose unless that is not possible for you in which case then you just do whatever you need to do all right it's a very meditative kind of movement it's very satisfying and you could do it forever okay and let go come back onto your sitting bones and just now move the torso shift the weight to one sit bone and to the other sit bone to the back to the front and then come and sit on your sitting bones neutral position and just feel your sitting feel your sitting bones notice if it feels better or easier to sit on your sitting bones with your torso upright notice if anything changed in your breathing keep that gentle smile in your lips feel your feet in contact with the floor well done this is it for this week i hope this was good for you and do let me know below and please do share these videos these exercises with your um, friends and please do this exercise um, every day whenever you have five time and um, five minutes just feel your spine feel your your um your pelvis and when it comes to exercises we need to do it every day it's like it's, it is like food we eat every day we don't eat once a week and when it comes to exercise is the same thing the body needs some kind of movement uh, some kind of exercises every day it doesn't need to be an hour it doesn't need to be half an hour it can be five minutes ten minutes just doing these movements with the spine and doing other things that I'll bring to you okay but try to do a little bit every day it doesn't need to be too long all right um, keep moving and thank you for watching share this video with your friends and I'll be back with more exercises for you. Bye bye now.